More than 90,000 people lost their jobs in March, making it the month with the highest number of cuts from U.S.-based employers since January of 2023. As companies are adopting a do more with less approach, according to a new report by outplacement and career services firm Challenger, Gray and Christmas, 257,254. That's how many jobs have been cut this year, according to the Challenger report. Despite March having more single-month job loss than any other month since January of 2023, cuts are actually down overall from last year. By this time in 2023, 270,416 jobs had been lost. More jobs have been cut in the eastern region of the country, which encompasses 12 states including New York, Massachusetts and Washington, D.C., than any other. More than 94,000 cuts have been made in the region so far this year, followed by 92,178 in the West, 37,639 in the Midwest and 33,031 in the South, according to the Challenger report. Many companies appear to be reverting to a do more with less approach, Andy Challenger, the firm's senior vice president, said in a statement. While technology continues to lead all industries so far this year, several industries, including energy and industrial manufacturing, are cutting more jobs this year than last. Despite the layoffs and slow hiring, American unemployment has been below 4% for 25 consecutive months, the longest such streak since the 1960s, according to the Associated Press. Unemployment was 3.7% in December and January, but rose to 3.9%, a two-year high, in February. When the Bureau of Labor Statistics releases its monthly jobs report on Friday, economists expect the rate to dip slightly.